Hey there, fellow Pokemon trainers! Did you know that your childhood hobby could actually make you some serious cash? It's true! Pokemon cards are no longer just for kids. They've become a hot commodity for collectors and investors, with some rare cards fetching mind-blowing prices. We're talking thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars for a single card. Are you ready to turn your passion for Pokemon into a lucrative investment opportunity? Let's dive in! Remember those holographic Charizards or Blastoise cards you treasured? Those could be worth a small fortune today. And it's not just old cards. Newly released sets often contain rare chase cards that appreciate rapidly in value. The Pokemon franchise continues to grow, captivating new generations of fans and collectors. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer looking to capitalize on this exciting market, there's never been a better time to jump in and start building your own Pokemon card empire. So, what's behind this Pokemon card craze? Well, it's a combination of factors. Nostalgia plays a big part. Many millennials who grew up with Pokemon are now adults with disposable income, eager to reconnect with their childhood passions. They're willing to shell out big bucks for those iconic cards they fondly remember. But it's not just nostalgia driving this market. Pokemon has never really gone away. The franchise continues to release new games, movies, and of course trading cards, attracting a whole new generation of fans. This constant influx of new collectors keeps the market fresh and ensures a steady demand for both old and new cards. Media coverage of high-profile auctions, where rare cards have sold for astronomical prices, has attracted the attention of mainstream investors and collectors alike. This newfound attention has further legitimized the market and contributed to its remarkable growth. Now before you raid your attic for your old shoebox of Pokemon cards, it's important to know that not all cards are created equal. Some are significantly more valuable than others due to factors like rarity, condition, and popularity. First, let's talk about rarity. First edition cards, easily identifiable by the edition 1 stamp on the left side of the card, are highly sought after by collectors. Another factor that heavily influences value is condition. A pristine card, free of scratches, dents, or fading, will command a much higher price than a heavily played card. Professional grading companies like PSA and Beckett grade cards based on their condition, sealing them in tamper-proof slabs with a designated grade. Finally, the Pokemon depicted on the card also plays a role. Special edition cards, promotional cards, and cards with unique misprints or errors can also be worth a pretty penny. So you think you've got some valuable cards? The next step is to get them authenticated and graded. Professional grading companies like PSA, Professional Sports Authenticator, and Beckett Grading Services, BGS, are the industry standard for card grading. They carefully inspect cards for authenticity and condition, assigning them a numerical grade based on a standardized scale. Why is grading important? Firstly, it guarantees authenticity. Counterfeit cards are unfortunately becoming more common. Grading provides peace of mind, assuring potential buyers that your cards are the real deal. A high grade from a reputable grading company can significantly increase the value of your card. The grading process typically involves submitting your cards to the grading company, either directly or through a trusted card shop. While grading does come with a cost, the added value and peace of mind it provides make it a worthwhile investment, especially for valuable cards. Navigating the market where to buy and sell Now that you understand the basics of valuable Pokemon cards and grading, let's explore where you can buy and sell these treasured collectibles. The good news is, there are numerous avenues for buying and selling Pokemon cards both online and offline. Online marketplaces like eBay and TCG Player are popular platforms for buying and selling Pokemon cards. They offer a vast selection of cards from sellers worldwide, making it easy to find specific cards you're looking for. However, it's crucial to exercise caution when buying online. Check seller ratings, read reviews, and ensure the cards are accurately described and graded by reputable companies. Local card shops and hobby stores are another great option for buying and selling. Pokemon card conventions and trade shows offer a unique opportunity to connect with fellow collectors, buy, sell and trade cards, and even attend exciting events like card tournaments and meet and greets with Pokemon personalities. Building your portfolio. Diversification is key. Just like with traditional investments, diversification is crucial when building a Pokemon card portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Instead, spread your investment across different types of cards and sets to minimize risk and maximize potential returns. Consider investing in a mix of vintage and modern cards. 
Vintage cards, particularly those from the early sets like Base Set, Fossil and Jungle, are highly sought after and have historically shown significant appreciation in value. Modern cards on the other hand, offer the potential for rapid growth, especially chase cards from popular sets. Diversifying across different card types is also wise. Don't forget about graded cards. Graded cards, especially those with high grades from reputable companies, hold their value well and are less susceptible to market fluctuations. Safeguarding your investments storage and protection. You've invested time, effort, and money into building your Pokemon card portfolio. Now it's crucial to protect your investment. Proper storage and handling are essential for preserving the condition of your cards and maintaining their value. The first line of defense is individual card sleeves. Penny sleeves made from clear, archival-safe plastic are an affordable and effective way to protect your cards from scratches, dust, and fingerprints. For added protection, especially for valuable cards, consider using thicker, more rigid top loaders. These hard plastic sleeves provide extra support and prevent bending. Once your cards are individually protected, you'll need a safe place to store them. Card binders are a popular choice, offering a convenient way to organize and display your collection. For long-term storage or for extremely valuable cards, consider using screw-down holders or magnetic card cases. Store your cards in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight, humidity, and extreme temperatures, as these can all damage your cards over time. Staying ahead of the game market trends and research. The Pokemon card market is constantly evolving. Staying informed about market trends, new releases, and price fluctuations is crucial for making informed investment decisions and maximizing your returns. One of the best ways to stay up to date is by following reputable Pokemon card news sources, blogs, and social media accounts. These outlets provide valuable insights into market trends, upcoming releases, and price analysis, helping you identify potential investment opportunities. Attending Pokemon card conventions and trade shows is another excellent way to network with fellow collectors, dealers, and industry experts. Online price guides and marketplaces like TCG Player and eBay are invaluable resources for tracking card prices, researching historical data, and getting a sense of the fair market value of your cards. Maximizing your returns, insider tips, and tricks. Now that you're well-versed in the world of Pokemon card investing, let's delve into some insider tips and tricks to help you maximize your returns and become a savvy Pokemon card investor. First and foremost, patience is key. Building a valuable Pokemon card portfolio takes time and research. Don't expect to get rich quick. Instead, focus on making informed purchases, holding onto your investments, and letting the market work its magic. Timing is everything. Buying cards at the right time can significantly impact your profits. Keep an eye out for dips in the market or undervalued cards. Similarly, selling cards at the peak of their popularity or after a significant price increase can maximize your returns. Building relationships with reputable dealers and collectors can be invaluable. Stay informed about new releases, market trends, and grading standards to stay ahead of the curve and make smart investment decisions. Potential risks and how to navigate them. While investing in Pokemon cards can be lucrative, it's essential to be aware of the potential risks involved and take steps to mitigate them. Market Volatility Like any investment market, the Pokemon card market can be volatile. Prices can fluctuate due to factors like new releases, collector demand, and economic conditions. Diversifying your portfolio and staying informed about market trends can help minimize the impact of these fluctuations. Counterfeit Cards Unfortunately, counterfeit cards are becoming increasingly common. Always buy from reputable sellers, get valuable cards authenticated and graded, and be wary of deals that seem too good to be true. Storage and handling. Improper storage and handling can damage your cards, diminishing their value. Use protective sleeves, binders, and proper storage methods to safeguard your investment. Ready to be a Pokemon Master Investor? Investing in Pokemon cards can be a fun, rewarding, and potentially lucrative endeavor. By understanding the market, researching valuable cards and following these tips, you can turn your passion for Pokemon into a profitable investment strategy. Remember patience, research, and a love for the Pokemon world are your greatest assets in this exciting market. So dust off those old cards, start exploring the vast world of Pokemon card investing, and who knows, you might just uncover a hidden treasure trove of valuable collectibles. Good luck trainers, and may your pulls be ever in your favor.